Thursday, and I started not to make a video today, but you guys will probably be able to be like, where it, where's the crack? I'm a crackhead. Not really, but y'all know. Anyway, for sharing it a Thursday, I'm sharing something with you guys that is very sentimental to me. Um, a lot of you guys know my grandmother passed away in February, February 7th to be exact, and we recently cleaned out her place, and I was like racking my brain all last week of things to take from her house to kind of remember her by, because I've never had, I don't know, like this is the first year that I've ever really experienced loved ones very close to me passing away. So, I really didn't know what to take to remember her by. Um, but, I found something that, um, I don't know, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my, all these memories came back, right? So, ever since I was little, my grandma had these big jewelry boxes, or jewelry chests, and I used to always go through them and play, play in them, just to put different things on, and she would let me her rings, her jewelry, all the good stuff. Anyway, I, which is weird, I'm not like a huge jewelry person, um, I'm becoming more, trying to get more accessories or whatever, but anyway, so this is the box, it's a little heavy, so, I mean, this thing is so old, it's not even funny, like, I played with this when I was like three, and I'm not saying I'm old, but I'm a little old, anyway, so, I mean, it has a couple scratches and stuff in it, I kind of want to reupholster it, is that the right word for it? Um, I'm not sure how to do it or where to start because I really don't want to mess it up. I mean, it's kept up. It's a pretty, like, sturdy box. Um, I'm going to open it up for you guys. And so there's a couple pictures in here. There is a picture of me here. Where is it? I don't want you guys. Wrong side. A picture of me <laughs> when I've gained weight. So there was a period in my life, um, a couple years, when I picked up some weight and... I had just stopped working out. Like I was like, I'm done with basketball. I'm not going to work out again. I don't know. It's hard. Anybody who played um, a sport in college and you got a scholarship for it, playing that sport was like a job. You know, it seems cool or whatnot, but you're practicing anywhere between three to four hours, six days a week. So when I finally had a chance to say, I'm not doing it anymore, I didn't do it. And I picked up weight, a lot of weight. So I'll share this with you guys. I said I would never, ever share it, but I just love you guys. You guys are, like, the most supportive group. Seriously. Like, a lot of people talk about bad experiences they've had on YouTube. And I have to be honest, I haven't had one bad experience. I mean, knock on wood. But I have, like, the best supporting group of subscribers on YouTube. And I absolutely adore you guys. So I'll share it with you. Um, not sure if you can see. This is a photo of me. I don't even know what year this was taken. My grandmother took this. I picked up weight. Seriously. After this, a little bit after this picture was taken, I got on Weight Watchers, and I pretty much lost most of the weight, like 40 pounds out of the 50, and I think I had like 5 pounds to go to meet my goal, but then I ended up leaving the country, and that was the last time I kind of did Weight Watchers, going to the meeting and actually paying the money. Now I just do it on my phone because I know all of the websites I can go to and I know the new point system that I'm able to instead of write it down, I'm able to clock it on my phone. If any of you guys are interested in that, leave a comment below. I'll do a whole video on that if you're interested. If you're not, then we will just skip that. But anyway, so Weight Watchers is something that I do on my own um, that I enjoy. So that's one of the pictures in there. The other picture is just a picture of my grandmother. This is her back in the day. Now this box is huge. I don't know if you can see. So this has a lot of stuff. There's a couple of items that I held on to. Um, I'll show you a couple of them. So, just, just random pieces. So my grandmother had these earrings. These are some funky earrings, right? Um, I was like, I'll keep these just because they're different. Um, I actually had a little breakdown the other night because I looked at them and I noticed it had a strand of her hair in it. So I don't think I will actually wear them just because, I don't know, it makes me a little sad. But I think they're a pretty cool piece to have. Um, what else can I share with you guys? So my grandmother was into brooches. She loved butterflies and angels. So I would always buy her, whenever I left the country, or uh, Christmas time, I would always get her angels. So this is an angel that was handmade in Croatia that I got for her. She was, like, obsessed with angels and butterflies and birds. 
here's another piece I got uh, from her that I'll show you guys. It's a couple cool pieces that I just wanted to hang on to. Now, I don't know if this is real gold or not. On the tag, it says 1928, so I don't know if that means it's old. I don't know. It's just a locket, and I love the flowers on the front. So I think I'll hang on to this. I don't know. Maybe I'll go get it clean and find out, you know, if it's real or I don't know. Another thing I got was just like, I think it's like, a, I want to say it's like a pill case. It was made in Italy. And I think it's just something people kept their pills in. It's really old. And I kind of like old stuff. Another thing I got, a couple other things. Really quick, not to make this long. A couple pieces I just held on to some of the old pieces. Um, she had this little funky thing, and I was like, what is this? It is like a powder case. Ugh, if I can open it. Old school, like, powder case. But it's, like, seriously old. It has a little mirror in there. That's the timer to go get my clothes. I have, like, ADD. Not really, but once I get started doing something, I'll forget. So I put a timer on to remind me to get my clothes while I'm in the room because I don't hear anything. Anyway, that's it. Just a couple cool pieces I kept of hers. Um... I'll show you what else. The insides are pretty cool. I just remember playing in this as a little girl. So this is some of the jewelry I have. She also had these cool little earrings that I thought were kind of neat. They're different. So those are some of the earrings I have. I'm not like a real big jewelry person. Here are some of the necklaces. And that's it. And she had tons of pictures of me. And I'll actually share with you guys because I don't think I'm going to scan them. So this is me when I was four. How funny is that picture? Hilarious. This is me at three. <laughs> um, this is how my mom w had my hair my childhood. What is that? She couldn't get it into one ponytail, so I always had two braids. Um, this is me at 11. I don't know if you can tell. My hair is out in the back, and it looks like a, a rat's nest. Seriously. Um, this is me, age 10, and this is me, my senior year in high school. No, is it senior year? I think it is. And this is, was actually like my first real haircut. I remember this day so well. This is the first time my hair was like straightened, and I got like a real haircut, like inches off. And I was so excited to have my hair cut. Anyway, that's it for sharing it. Um, Thursday, I need to go get my clothes out the dryer, y'all. And do something with this hair because I don't know what to do. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. It was, I didn't buy anything, but it was just something that happened last week that I got. And I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. Um, you guys are awesome and I love you. So I don't mind sharing just weird, awkward things with you guys. And I hope you don't mind watching. Anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your week and have a good weekend. Bye.